All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Kakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> okay, um, you uh, Fopi guys are not diligent. Okay, that's the title of this video. Okay, um, this um is a reply, you know, to the brother GMS Vegas sit downs and also defender for the truth. Um, you know, the brother, the the, the head of uh, the Baltimore camp. Okay, uh, was they did uh, videos on Fopi. Okay, uh, this one is titled Fopi decides to pop back out of the woodworks. Where y'all been? Okay, and um. In the video, you have this guy, okay, uh, Fopi Israelite School, okay, um, his name is Sar Sam, okay, we had dealings with him before, but he says, Fopi Baltimore looking for a few good men, okay, and, um, you know, the, 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 if you guys wanted to, to see that example, okay, you already have the example here in Baltimore, okay, <clears throat> but you guys aren't, aren't diligent, okay, um, it's, it's only about a few good men, okay? Now, uh, the word diligent, okay, means careful and persistent work or effort, okay? And when you go back into the world, okay, you go off like how these guys did, okay? I'm going to go to their channel, okay? And you see what they um, haven't been doing. Okay, their, their, their last video that they really put up was two years ago, okay, two years ago, okay, which that shows that they're not careful, that these guys, y'all don't fear the Lord, okay, that's, that's what it, that's what, what it really boils down to, you y'all do not fear the Lord at all, okay, so the word diligence, okay, once again means careful and persistent work or F okay the word persistent okay means continuing firmly and obstinately in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition okay tenacious per persevering okay determined resolute purposeful okay dog single-minded okay the scriptures on that that right that that uh that 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 term right there okay um tireless okay indefatigable patient okay long suffering okay unflagging untiring insistent okay relentless unrelent unrelenting okay stubborn okay Continuing to exist or en endure over a prolonged period, okay? So, you guys aren't diligent. Now, I'm going to get this scripture, Proverbs 13 and 4. The soul of the sluggard desires, okay? And when you go into the video that he was, uh, he brought out, okay? A film, um, you know, looking for a good few men. Okay, that's because you're you're you have the the spirit of a sluggard. Okay, so you're desiring a few good men. Okay, because your spirit isn't in the right the right uh mind. Okay, you you well you aren't in the right mind I should say or in the right spirit. You're not even in the truth. Okay, I'm gonna get this scripture John. Okay, four and uh twenty two. Okay, it says but um, I mean twenty three. It says, but the hour comes and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Okay? So so the ones who, who come into the truth, they're going to be in the right spirit, man. Okay? It says, for the Father seeks such to worship him. Okay? And guess what? You guys are seeking other people, you know, to, to try to come up and join up after y'all. Okay? Because y'all not, not doing it for... For the Lord to, to, to actually show that you actually care about the Lord, man. Okay? The Lord, the Lord is seeking those 
who want to want him, man. Okay. We're not we're not on our own time. We're on the Lord's time, man. Okay. Commitment, man. Okay, being committed to this truth. See, a lot of a lot of guys that come into this truth, okay, and they put on these uh you know fancy garments and stuff like that, okay, and they go out and, and they don't got the spirit on them, man. Okay? They just don't got the spirit on them, man. And and it's clear to see that that you guys, you know, y'all just look at how y'all how y'all are on the outside, y'all outwardly appearance, man. But but on the inside, y'all y'all spirit ain't ain't right, man. Okay. This ain't no about having fancy garments, man. Okay. It says uh, the soul of the sluggard desires and have nothing. So you're gonna be desiring those few good men. But guess what? When that time comes, you ain't gonna be able to edify them about anything, man. Okay. And that's what y'all name Fopey for our people's edification. You know that don't. That's not what it means, man. Y'all y'all should say uh, fuck our people eventually, man. Okay, or or some other type of uh, acronym, man. Okay, so continuing on, it says, "But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat." Okay, so so the ones who who continue to do the work nonstop, persistently, okay, that are committed onto this work, okay, they not their their labor is is this scripture say Galatians six and nine, and let us not be worried and well doing. So going out there on the highway and hedges, okay. Is important, okay. You're not supposed to grow weary, okay. It says, "For in due season we shall reap if we faint not," okay. So, so the the men of the Lord are gonna believe in all the scriptures, man, okay. And they're not gonna they when 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 somebody gets on them, they they're not gonna be looking at it like, oh yeah, they just hating. It's no 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 truth whatsoever in what they're saying, okay. The scripture says this, man. Okay, let us not be weary and well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Okay? So guess what? The ones who are who are diligent, okay, they're gonna get the, the uh the, the, the fruit to come in. Okay? The fruit that, that's meat for repentance, okay? Which is that that means good for repentance, man. Not just anybody, man. We just want the elect, man. Okay. Continuing on. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. Okay, let's see what the word steadfast. I got the definition right here. Okay. Resolutely or dutifully firm and unwavering. Okay, loyal, faithful, committed, devoted, dedicated, dependable. Can't be depended on, man. Reliable. Okay. Steady. True, constant, staunch, solid, trusty. Okay? You can't trust you guys, man. Okay? With this truth, you, you haven't shown that you're diligent, man. Okay? You go on, you go on uh, the brothers in, in Great Millstone camp. Okay? Brothers say that it's, it's supposed to be three videos per week. Okay? And then you go out on the highway and have just... Hey, you go on any of these... Any brother videos, man, you're going to see... Um, you should see uh, diligence, man. Okay? That's the spirit that we, we preach here in Great Millstone, man. Okay? Not to be a, a sluggard, man. Okay? It says, be ye steadfast. Okay? Committed, basically. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay? Continuing on. 2 Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren... Give diligence to make your calling and election sore. Okay? So you come into this truth. You have to be diligent. Okay? Careful. And fe fearing the Lord. And, and persistently working. Putting forth that effort, man. Okay? Striving, man. For the kingdom, man. Being dedicated on to this truth. Okay? So it says uh, to make sure you're calling. You've been called into this truth, man. Okay? Whether you are the elect or not, okay, that's to be determined. But you have to make sure you have to that you're doing the work in order to, 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 to be uh sure about that, man. Okay? Box by, by stand on fire, man. It says, For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Okay. James 1 and 12. 
Blessed is the man that endures temptation. And what the word temptation means, the one of doing something unwise or wrong, okay? And guess what? You guys were, were wrong, man, okay? You're completely wrong. Ain't no Salakia, not... Y'all probably did it before, but I don't know. It, people ain't going to buy it, man. Somebody just keep on, uh, you know, saying sorry all the goddamn on time, man. Okay? You see, you, here go the thing. You can make mistakes, man. Okay? But when you when you continue to make mistakes, it's, it's like a choice at that point in time, man. Okay? And and people ain't going people ain't going to buy it, man. The Lord ain't buying it. Okay? It says, blessed is the man, because the scripture says that the Lord is an austere man, man. Okay? For when he is tried, okay? You when you in when you in when you going through a temptation, okay, and you're tried, okay, what did that mean? Okay? That that you're enduring, that you're you're lasting until the end. The moment that something come up, some trial or tribulation come up, and you back out, that means that you ain't you you ain't you you are you haven't proven yourself to be able to stand through, throughout whatever comes your way, man. Okay? It says he shall receive the crown of life. Okay? So once you once you endure whatever comes your way and you stand through and you continue to have the faith, okay, that's one of the reasons why we at Great Millstone, we we tell brothers, hey, go out there on the highway and have just when it's raining, okay? Whatever temptation you're going through, man, do the work, man, okay? And endure, okay? And that, when the Lord comes back, okay, that's when he's going to give you that crown of life, man. Okay, it says, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. And it shows that you don't love the Lord, man, okay? You don't fear the Lord anytime you just stop doing the work for two years, man, Okay? This is Hebrews 6 and 10. For God is not unrighteous. Y'all by Shemuel outside is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which he have which you have sold towards his name. Okay, y'all got the, the name of the Lord right here in the Hebrew. Okay, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Okay. But where are the videos that proving that, man? Okay? Talking about Israel versus Israel. Where's the love, man? Where's the love, man? I don't see none of it on y'all page, man. Okay? It says, and, and y'all guys are hypocrites, man. It says, and that you have ministered to the saints. Okay? Doing this work and labor of love. Okay? And ministering it to the saints. Okay? See what this word ministered is in the Hebrew, okay, and this ain't no, okay, the, 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 the moment that, um, some, some bullshit happens, we just hop up on every opportunity, okay, but this is the perfect opportunity, man, because, hey, we gotta let y'all know, man, okay, and, 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 and a lot of guys that can't, they can't accept rebukes, man, okay, and they, they buck up out of pride, man, instead of realizing that they just, that you just fucked up, man, okay, you just fucked up. Just admit it, man. Okay, it says to be a servant, attendant, domestic, domestic. Okay, to serve, wait upon. Okay, to wait at a table and offer food and drinks to guests. Okay. To minister, supply food, necessities of life. Okay, and this truth is necessary to, for life, man. Okay. You out here looking for, for good men, go out there and teach, man. And if and if it's meant, the Lord going to give you the fruit, man. Okay? Just go out there and teach, man. Okay? It says to attend to anything that may serve another interest. Okay? Another's interest. So it's a lot of stuff that's in this truth that you can speak about, man. Okay? Rivers of living water, man. Okay? Minister, it says, and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do so the same diligence, okay? Being on fire to the full assurance of hope 
that we know we know that the Lord going to come back, man. Okay? It says on to the end. Okay? So you have to continue to do this on to the end that you be not slothful. Okay? These words should cut you, man. Okay? And they are cutting you. Okay? What is it? Stupid. Don't be stupid, man. Okay? Literally lazy. Because what y'all been doing, man? Okay? It says, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. And guess what? Where a promise means guarantee. It means that it's going to happen, man. So if you really believe, man, your, your works will sow for you, man. And it, and it don't sow, man. Nobody going to want, the Lord ain't going to send no, no, no decent guys to y'all guys, man. Okay? So with that, man, I want to say Shalom.